everyone, I'll go and show you exactly how to screen record within Android 13. Now luckily for you, this is very easy. Whether you're on Android 13, 12, 11, even 10, it's kind of the same exact process. So to do this, what you want to do, so all you want to do is you want to swipe down from the top just like so, and you want to swipe down once more until you get into this panel. Now here, you may be able to see a screen recording toggle immediately. If not, what you can do is you can swipe to the side and you should be able to see your little screen recording toggle there. If you don't see it, you want to click on the pencil icon there and you want to find that screen recording toggle. So it should be down here somewhere. All you have to do is go ahead and grab it and you can drag it over to the top, you know, wherever you want to drop it, you know, drag and drop it to. And that's pretty much how to do it. Now, as soon as you see that, you're pretty much good to go. All you want to do now is swipe back and you should be able to see your screen recording toggle. So now what you want to do is you want to click on it just like how I clicked on it right there and you should see this little pop-up come up. Now what you want to do is you want to figure out whether you want to show touches on the screen and or you want to record audio. I will say for a majority of you out there, i am probably just recommend recording audio. It makes it a little bit easier for the most part. So once you go ahead and do that, all you have to do is record audio like this and then you're good to go. You can click start and as long as you see that red dot up there, then you're pretty much good to go. Whatever I'm going to be doing on my display right now is exactly what's going to be shown in that recording. And whenever I'm ready, I can go and click that little red dot up there or I can scroll down and I can click on this little red dot here, click stop. And it's going to go ahead and stop that recording for me. Now it's going to go ahead and save it into Google Photos. So now all I have to do is go ahead and load up Google Photos. It may come into movies right there. And all you have to do here is open it up and you should see that new recording that we just made. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.